The United States is a country known for its vibrant cities, stunning landscapes, and welcoming communities. But beneath the surface, a darker reality lurks. Crime and violence plague many American cities, leaving residents and visitors alike to navigate treacherous streets and avoid dangerous neighborhoods. Every year, the FBI releases its Uniform Crime Reporting UCR program, which provides a detailed look at crime rates across the country. And every year, some cities stand out for all the wrong reasons. From drug-fueled violence to gang warfare, these cities are plagued by crime and fear. Residents live in a state of constant alert, never knowing when danger might strike. And for visitors, the risk of becoming a victim is ever-present. So, which cities are the most dangerous of all? Where should you avoid walking alone at night? And what makes these places so treacherous? Get ready to find out as we count down the top 10 most dangerous places in the United States. From the streets of Memphis to the alleys of Los Angeles, we'll take you on a journey through the darkest corners of America. So if you're ready to face the truth and learn which cities to avoid, keep watching. But be warned, once you know, you can't unknow. The top 10 most dangerous places in the United States are about to be revealed. Number 10, Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas has a high rate of violent crimes with 57.34 crimes per 100,000 people, exceeding the national average. The city's violent crime rate includes 5.6 murders per 100,000 people, 44.1 rapes per 100,000 people, 410.6 robberies per 100,000 people, and 246.9 aggravated assaults per 100,000 people, all higher than the national average. Property crime rates are also concerning, with 410.6 burglaries per 100,000 people and 401.9 motor vehicle thefts per 100,000 people, both exceeding the national average. To stay safe, it's essential to be aware of your surroundings, especially at night. Avoid walking alone in isolated areas, keep valuables secure, and lock doors and windows. Some neighborhoods to avoid include 5th Ward, 3rd Ward, East Downtown, Northside, and South Park, although crime rates can vary significantly depending on the specific location within Houston. Number 9. Birmingham, Alabama Birmingham, Alabama is a city plagued by violence, with a staggering 59.78 crimes per 1,000 people, far exceeding the national average. The streets of Birmingham are scarred by a brutal reality, with murders, rapes, robberies, and aggravated assaults occurring at alarming rates. The city's deadly crime spree is fueled by a toxic mix of poverty, drug abuse, and gang warfare, turning neighborhoods like the North Side, East Lake, and West End into hotbeds of criminal activity. To survive in this treacherous landscape, you'll need to be constantly on guard, avoiding deserted streets at night, keeping valuables secure, and staying alert in crowded public spaces. In Birmingham, the threat of violence is always lurking, making it a city where only the bravest dare to roam. Number 8. Cleveland, Ohio Cleveland, Ohio is a city beset by a severe crime crisis, with a staggering 59.91 crimes per 1,000 people, far exceeding the national average fueled by a toxic mix of poverty, drug abuse, gang activity, and lack of community resources. The city's violent crime rate is alarming, with 45.8 murders, 104.1 rapes, 550.6 robberies, and 360.3 aggravated assaults per 100,000 people, often linked to gang warfare and drug trafficking. To combat this crisis, Cleveland has launched initiatives like community policing, job training, mental health services, and neighborhood revitalization, aiming to build trust, create opportunities, and boost economic growth. Despite the challenges, Cleveland's resilience and determination drive its quest for a safer, brighter future, where residents can thrive without fear of violence. Number 7. New Orleans, Louisiana New Orleans, Louisiana is a city engulfed in a vortex of violence with a staggering 60.98 crimes per 1,000 people, making it one of the most dangerous cities in the United States. The city's streets are scarred by a brutal reality, with murders, rapes, robberies, and aggravated assaults occurring at alarming rates, 
fueled by a toxic mix of poverty, drug abuse, gang activity, and lack of community resources. The statistics are chilling. 45.8 murders, 104.1 rapes, 550.6 robberies, and 360.3 aggravated assaults per 100,000 people, with drug-related activity and gang violence being major contributors. But amidst the chaos, New Orleans refuses to surrender, launching initiatives like community policing, job training, mental health services, and neighborhood revitalization to reclaim its streets and restore hope to its residents. The battle for a safer, brighter future is ongoing, and only time will tell if the city's resilience will prevail. Number six, Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas City, Missouri is a city grappling with a complex crime crisis with a staggering 63.18 crimes per 1,000 people, fueled by entrenched poverty, drug trafficking, and gang violence. Despite this, the city's resilient community remains steadfast, refusing to let crime define its vibrant culture and spirit. Residents, community leaders, and activists are joining forces to reclaim their streets, build hope, and create a safer future. Through innovative programs, community policing, and social services, Kansas City is working to address the root causes of crime and restore peace to its neighborhoods. With its rich history, cultural attractions, and determination, Kansas City is rising above its challenges, forging a brighter tomorrow for all its citizens. Number five, Detroit, Michigan. Detroit's crime rate sits at a high 66.09 crimes per 1,000 residents, well above the national average of 25.96. However, there's a positive trend. Violent crimes like homicides, down 18% to 252 in 2023, non-fatal shootings, down 16%, and carjackings, down 34%, all saw significant drops in 2023 compared to the previous year. It's important to remember crime varies greatly by neighborhood with areas like Midtown and Palmer Woods boasting much lower rates. By researching your specific location and staying aware of your surroundings, you can navigate Detroit and experience its rich culture and history more safely. Number four, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Minneapolis, Minnesota, a city known for its cultural attractions and vibrant art scene is facing a concerning trend, a significant rise in violent crimes with a staggering 66.28 crimes per 1,000 people, FBI 2020. This alarming rate is driven by a complex interplay of factors, including poverty, 24.9% of residents living below the poverty line, U.S. Census Bureau 2020, drug trafficking and gang activity, 43% increase in drug-related arrests, Minneapolis Police Department 2020, mental health concerns, 23% of residents experiencing mental illness, SAM ASA 2020, and limited community resources, 30% decrease in funding for social services, City of Minneapolis budget 2020. Despite these challenges, Minneapolis is actively working to address the root causes of violence and improve public safety. Through initiatives like community policing, job training programs, mental health services, and neighborhood revitalization efforts, aiming to create a safer, more equitable future for its residents. Number three, Little Rock, Arkansas. Little Rock, Arkansas is locked in a battle against violent crime with a staggering 72.08 offenses per 1,000 residents casting a shadow over the city. The roots of this crisis run deep, fueled by poverty's relentless grip. 26.4% of residents struggle to make ends meet. Drug trafficking's insidious influence. Drug-related arrests have surged 40%. And a fragile mental health landscape. 25% of residents grapple with inner demons. Yet, even in the face of adversity, Little Rock refuses to yield, harnessing the power of community policing, job training, and mental health services to forge a brighter, safer future. Number two, St. Louis, Missouri. St. Louis, Missouri is a city beset by a staggering 87.10 crimes per 1,000 people, with aggravated assaults driving this alarming statistic. The perfect storm of poverty, 24.5%, unemployment, 5.8%, drug trafficking, 35% increase in drug-related arrests, mental health concerns, 27% of residents affected, 
and dwindling community resources, 30% funding decrease, has created a volatile environment where violent crimes thrive. Aggravated assaults, accounting for 55% of all violent crimes, often involve firearms, 75%, and have led to a homicide rate of 65.8 per 100,000 residents, outpacing the national average. To combat this crisis, St. Louis is implementing a multifaceted approach, including community policing, job training, mental health services expansion, neighborhood revitalization, and collaborations with social service organizations in a bid to reclaim its streets and restore peace to its residents. Number one, Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis, Tennessee, a city rich in musical heritage and cultural significance, grapples with a sobering reality. It holds the dubious distinction of having the highest violent crime rate in the nation, with a staggering 97.64 crimes per 100,000 people, FBI 2020. This crisis is fueled by a complex web of factors, including entrenched poverty, 26.1% of residents living below the poverty line, Rampant drug trafficking, 40% increase in drug-related arrests. Limited economic opportunities, 6.3% unemployment. And a mental health landscape marked by trauma and pain, 30% of residents experiencing mental illness. As a result, Memphis bears the weight of a homicide rate that exceeds the national average, with a disproportionate impact on communities of color. In response, the city is mobilizing a comprehensive strategy that combines community policing, job training programs, mental health services, and neighborhood revitalization initiatives to address the root causes of violence and reclaim its streets. And there you have it, folks. The 10 most dangerous places in the U.S. facing alarming rates of violence, crime, and neglect, underscoring the need for urgent action to ensure public safety and well-being. Let's work together to create a safer America. If you're concerned about crime in your community, please like and share this video and subscribe to our channel for more informative content and solutions-focused discussions.